been doing to help the environment? Um, say recycling. Recycling. We are the fifth and sixth graders from the Mandel School. We decided to talk to the people in our community about the environment in hopes to collect information about how we can make the world a cleaner place. We just try to use less, use less energy, use less throwaway products, recycle more, turn off the lights. Uh, well, some of my uh, light bulbs are uh, some of the uh, fluorescent type, which uh, run on a lot less energy, and they also uh, last a lot longer. Uh, try to use, uh, try, try to conserve, basically, in terms of uh, air conditioning, turning off appliances uh, when not in use. Uh, so I do the best I can. We generally keep the lights off during the day um, when we're not in there and um, try not to keep the fridge open for too long as well. Um, well, I put my juice in the right bin at lunchtime. I'd like to see recycling be easy to do no matter where you are in the whole country because I won't feel good if I throw this out. So I think the easiest thing for people to start doing is recycling and New Yorkers already do mass transportation and I'm all for that. I try to reuse bags instead of getting new ones. We decided to start our own pollution solution campaign. Our goal was to inform every student in our school about the things we learned to help the environment. We made signs with facts about saving energy in the environment. We also decided to do a presentation to the students in our cafeteria. Well, um, today's Pollution Solution Day. Um, if you've noticed, we've put posters around the school about how you can save the earth um, by recycling and reusing uh, materials. Today, we have been haven't been using any electricity or barely any electricity. We have been, um, in the one class we had today um, in Spanish, we um, turned all the lights off. We haven't charged our computers and we um, haven't used the elevator. We've made posters about some of the things that you can do to save your environment. If you guys have computers at home, if you're not using it, um, if you should learn to ask your parents to put it on sleep. So it, you can just use it when you're ready to use it, but if it's ready to be used, it wastes a lot more electricity. If you have a laptop at home, use that um, compared to a desktop because they use less energy. Americans use 50 million tons of paper annually, consuming more than 850 million trees. New York City residents currently recycle only about 17% of their total waste, half of what they could be recycling under the cur current program. So like instead of recycling like almost everything, they just recycle some stuff and they throw the rest of it in the trash. But how do you do that stuff? Well, then maybe we'll have to get a recycling bin and put all of our paper and um, paper cups and plastic forks and uh, spoons and knives um, in the recycling bin. In making this documentary, we have learned that we as kids can really make a difference and really empower change. We were able to reach out to every student with our message in order to help make the world a better place. I'll say one thing, I'm very, very glad that children of your age, young people, are, are doing this kind of thing. I, I think it's wonderful. I congratulate the Mandel School on Thank you. creating this kind of project. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>